Here's the problem. The money in your IRA is not all yours. As much as 40% of it, maybe more, belongs to the government because your IRA money is only tax deferred. It is not tax exempt. And you've got to pay tax on every dollar in your account, even if you leave it all to your family. In fact, the IRS will require you to withdraw money from your IRA and pay tax on it every year after age 70, even if you don't want the money. And whatever is left in your account when you pass on will all be taxed as earned income before your heirs can inherit the money. So what's the solution? Internal Revenue Code Sections 101 and 7702, which allow you to gradually replace the tax-deferred dollars in your IRA with tax-exempt dollars that will transfer the value of your IRA to your heirs without any risk of either losing the money or depleting the account value and without any investment fees or management expenses either. It's known as an IRA conversion, and here's how it works. First, you convert your IRA into an annuity, a contractually guaranteed annual payout of all the money in your account, plus interest, paid directly to you by check every year for the rest of your life, which means that you will pay the tax due each year out of each check you receive. However, you then transfer the net after-tax payout from the annuity directly into a cash value insurance contract, guaranteed to replace the total value of your tax-deferred IRA with tax-exempt dollars that transfer the money directly to your heirs. Of course, if you need the income from your IRA, you can keep the interest portion of the annuity payout and transfer only the capital portion of the annuity payout into the insurance contract each year. For example, Steve and Linda were in their mid-60s and in good health. They had $400,000 in their IRA invested in a bond fund, earning 6% annually, which paid them $24,000 each year. Their will stipulated that this bond fund would be inherited and divided evenly among their four grandchildren. However, when their attorney informed them that the entire value of their IRA bond fund would be taxed as earned income, subject to both state and federal taxes, Steve and Linda opted for an IRA conversion. So instead of getting $24,000 a year from the bond fund, they now receive $36,000 a year from the annuity contract. Of course, they keep the same $24,000 of income every year, but now they deposit an additional $12,000 into an insurance contract with a tax-exempt payout equal in value to the $400,000 tax-deferred IRA, leaving each grandchild with $100,000 instead of the $60,000 they would have gotten after paying taxes on the bond fund. However, if Steve and Linda didn't need any of the money from their IRA, they could have transferred all of the after-tax payout from the annuity contract into a much larger insurance contract which could pass as much as $300,000 to each of their four grandchildren and without any of the investment risk or management fees they had with the bond fund. So ask yourself, do you want to preserve the value of all the money you've saved and earned within your IRA for your children or your grandchildren? Or do you want to pay as much as 40% or more in taxes, especially if you don't need to? Think about it. Doesn't an IRA conversion make sense to you?